Hey guys, Brian Flake Apps here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a really cool alert. It'll be going across the bottom like in the ESPN or like in stock updates. So it's really cool. You might want to add it to your next um, app that you're making. So let's just create a new project. Um, view base will do with the iPhone. Hit choose. Let's just call it alert. That will work. And let's just bring it right up to there. So the first thing what we're going to do is go into our classes and then the dot H. And let's just add a few IB outlets and let's just do a UI label real fast. This will be the uh, thing that will be scrolling on the bottom of the label. Um, uh, text alert will do. And then another IB outlet that will be an NS timer. Um, let's just do like um, alert alert timer. There you go. Whatever. It works. So um, after that, you want to be doing another like little void thing at the very end, like a this. I'll just show it to you. Whoa. Void. Um, let's just do it like um, time. NS timer. Um, the, the timer. There you go. All right. So now after that, let's go into our dot m, and under the view did load method, uncomment it, and scroll down some. And now we're going to do the timer part. So let's just do. Uh, whatever we called it, which was um, alert time timer equals ns timer scheduled timer with interval. Press enter. It should be the second one down. The info repeats one. Hit that. Um, it's going to be this works best for me. It's the speed this is. It's going to be zero. 0 0.03. This works for me. You might want to be testing it out. So I don't know. So um, let's just do target self selector at selector and then whatever we put um, that uh, whatever we put on there. So ours would just be time a little thing right there and that and then user info nil and repeats yes and so that just close it up right there and save it so now we want to go underneath that and call our little void thing that we made down there so I'm just going to copy and paste it from back down here so we don't have to type everything up exactly delete this add some of these braces things and what we want to do now is do uh, this following code. Um, whatever the alert was, which was text alert, text alert dot center equals cg point point make. Um, and we're going to make this the text. text alert and then um, then we're going to do dot center dot x so it'll be like centered on on the the bottom like area so um, now we want to be doing just delete this real fast dot x sorry. Um, minus 3.5 and now the comma comes in then we're going to do text alert uh, dot center dot y. So that will make that work. Now we're going to do some if statement. This will be, so now it's, uh, it's actually scrolling across the bottom, but it will not. So let's just actually build it real fast, but this little eye is in the way, so it won't work. Let's hit the tasks and build it again. It should be all working just fine. Um, if 
that loads linking and succeeded. So now I am going to go into Interface Builder, Alert View Controller. And since I'm recording a video and my computer's kind of slow, this might actually take a long time. So I'm just going to pause the video and I will be getting right back to you guys in just a few little seconds. So I'm pause it. Okay, guys, sorry about that. So now, once it has loaded up, uh, here's your view. Let's just add some color to it real fast to white. And let's just add a little text, a label because that's what we called it. So label around here and call down here, go down here. All right, let's just this video things. All right, so that's a huge little text thing I typed up real fast. That, as you can see, it definitely goes over. So now we are just going to do this. So we're going to go to um, click on the files owner real fast and go to connections and alert timers right here. Or no, I'm sorry, uh, text alert. That says it right there. And just link it up. And so now we go save it, quit it, and let's just build and run real fast. See if it actually scrolls. Installing has all succeeded. That's good news. And we should be uh, watching it scroll across but not repeat. That uh, will be the next type of code. So, as you can see on the bottom, it is scrolling by. It's kind of fast, it's kind of bad. And then soon we'll be doing an if statement on the bottom that will be making it um, come back. So, let's just go and add that. So, below right here here go if um uh what was it? text text alert dot center uh dot x minus alert or I mean sorry text alert dot bound bounds dot size dot width slash two so if it goes off the page um, we want it to do a few things for us so let's just add this little semicolon so if it goes off the page this is what we're going to be telling it to do in between this little thing so um, text alert dot uh, center uh, equals CG point point make um, the width of the iPhone screen is going to be 320 um, and then the next will be um, then uh, we're going to be doing 320 plus so just hold on real fast I'm kind of stuck here hold on so sorry about that again um I just needed to add a few lines of code real fast. So it's plus the alert dot bounds dot size dot width slash two comma alert dot center dot y and then something called then uh, includes it again. So after that, that was just a little few little lines of code real fast. So I'm just gonna hit build and run, save all, um, and it should hopefully build. And then you should see it going across like that. So thanks, and then it should come back around, and there you go. Um, so after that, you can add little fancy pictures behind it and make it look like a really cool thing, and add some cool fonts, and add a really like really neat little effect uh, going there. So that's it. Please rate, comment, subscribe. I apologize for all the stops and pauses during the video. Um, so that's it. Follow me on Twitter. Um, thanks for watching. Just see you guys in the next video. Thanks.